Part 3. The March 1st, 1739 Peace Treaty Signing with Kajo. We, my predecessors, they are from Nigeria, in Africa. And Kajo came out here into a slave ship, but there wasn't slaves. Then Kajo took up arms and he started a campaign ranging from St. Thomas in the east right down to the Great Points in the west. When he came out, he said, well, then he did the visit. I came, I saw, we shall conquer. And the peace treaty was being signed by the King, King George, the second of England. At the time, the governor was Sir Edward Trelawney, and he sent a message to King George of England as to say he must send troops immediately. Otherwise, it won't be a Jamaican to send reports. And the king said, Lord, my God, I can't allow so much of my serving people losing their lives for lands. And he sent out two esquires. Then he sent out the two esquires to make peace and friendship ship with us. In the peace treaty, we, that culture and his people, is to live together. That the said Captain Kodjo, the rest of his captains, adherents and men, shall be forever and hereafter into a perfect state of freedom and liberty. When it was coming to a peace term, then they injected the veins and caught the blood, both white and black blood, we the maroons and the white Englishmen, and caught it into a calabash basin and mix it with rum and weed. So for the was being signed by the King, King George, the second of England. The Maroons were persistent in fighting and so were offered to sign a peace treaty by the English. That was the first Maroon treaty and was signed by the fierce leeward Maroon leader, Kajo, on the 1st of March, 1739.